Chemical concerns in Coriopolis. A new report by the state found drinking water there has among the highest levels of PFAS in the state. PFAS are man-made and can pose a serious health risk. But officials in Coriopolis say there's no reason to worry. Channel 11's Mike Holden joins us live to explain why. Mike. Gordon, good afternoon to you. Coriopolis officials stress the water is safe. It is not contaminated. You are good to go, so don't stress out about this. But after talking with several folks in this community, they're saying just hearing about this news has them reaching for bottled water just like this. Now, the Coriopolis Water and Sewer Authority is clearing the air when it comes to the quality of their water and chemicals inside it. They're talking all about those PFAS that Gordon just mentioned. Those chemicals, also known as forever chemicals, are typically found in dental floss, firefighting foam, and other home products. The EPA reports the chemicals in Coriopolis's drinking water are among some of the highest levels in the state. However, they're still below the federal health advisory level, topping out at 12.9 parts per trillion. Coriopolis officials say that is significantly less than the federal standard, which would be equal to one drop of food coloring and 18 million gallons of water. They stress they are monitoring the advisory levels around the clock, and there is no need to panic or stop using their water. Coriopolis Water and Sewer Authority Board has approved a plan uh, many months ago to put in uh, carbon filtration, which is the, the treatment option. Should this get to be worse, we would ha have that in place anyhow. I just don't trust it. I don't like it. I don't like the taste of it. It tastes like a lot of chlorine to me, but that's just me. And regardless, some people are still drinking it. We do want to stress there's no health issue at this point. They are monitoring this situation, and the water here in Coriopolis is not contaminated. But coming up on Channel 11 News at 5, we're taking a closer look at this case, plus what officials in town are doing to make sure that you will remain safe moving forward. Reporting live in Coriopolis this afternoon, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News.